Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am going on holiday with my family. So again, we're going to be separated for a whole <laughs> week. <laughs> we were going to be going up to Scotland by sleeper train, so we were going to be going up last night. But would you believe it, that got cancelled. So we book a holiday in the UK. And it's still gets cancelled. And that wasn't even because of Covid, it was because no. of the strike. So we nearly lost our holiday, but we managed to book some flights last minute, so I'm going to an airport. <laughs> For the first time in over a year and a half. Yeah, that's crazy. It's mad. And we're not even going abroad. <laughs> they were. We will someday. <laughs> so, yeah, there won't be much of a fun in this video. <laughs> Um, we popped out to a Tesco to pick up some dinner. Everyone's gone for curry except me because I just wanted the pizza. You know, pizza Friday. Curry Friday? No, pizza. <laughs> I just feel like it has to be pizza on a Friday night. Or curry. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't feeling curry. So I've got pizza. So I think tonight we're just gonna have a chilled evening, have a meal. Maybe watch some TV and get a good sleep because we're all really tired. We didn't travel far, but we're all really tired anyway. So I will give you a tour of the Airbnb and then I will see you tomorrow. So this is the entrance to the Airbnb. It's really nice and open. And then just here is the main bathroom. It's quite a big bathroom. And then down the hall we've got the main bedroom and then they have their own bathroom and next door is where Amy and I will sleep. My beds and Amy's beds and I'm not quite sure um, where we're going to open our suitcases because there's not a lot of floor space but Anyway, this is the living room area. So you've got two sofas, a little coffee table and a TV. And then if you walk around here, there's a little dining table and then a small kitchen. And then that door leads you up, back out to the hallway. This Airbnb is a fourth floor flat. Fourth floor flat, but because there are so many like little blocks of flats around you don't get much of a view so here is the view out of the like sitting room area window so you've literally got more buildings and then you can kind of see over that roof to some hills in the distance it is now the next morning and we have just walked down to Inverness Cathedral and it's really pretty, it looks so different from cathedrals that I've seen in other places. And here is the view to the side. It's a really pretty part of the city. We've been inside the cathedral and we then went for a coffee and cake in a little place behind the cathedral which actually used to be the cathedral boys school um, and it's now run by volunteers so that was a really nice, really nice cake. So I recommend that. Um, and now I think we're going to head up to the castle, which is closed. But hopefully there'll be good views up there. We need to cross the river to get to the castle. So we've come down to a bridge and it's closed. So we're going back in the other direction to go back to a different bridge. So up there is where we are heading. We've just come up all these stairs. <laughs> 
and we're hoping it will lead to the castle. And here it is. We we're up by the castle and we found a wild bunny. It's so cute. Here's the castle, sadly it's currently closed and it's got this barrier around it with loads of history on it, um, which is interesting but it kind of takes away from the beauty of the castle which is a shame, um, but from up here you've got a view of the cathedral and on the river Ness and it's just really pretty. We're heading down to a footbridge that someone at the airport recommended to us because it's called a bounce, they call it a bouncy bridge. So we're gonna go and bounce on the bridge. <laughs> so this is the view from the bridge. When we're just standing still on the bridge and other people are walking across it, you can just feel it like bouncing. And it's a really weird sensation. Walking along this bridge is such a weird feeling because like you used to take a step forward and the bridge kind of like bounces back under your feet. It's just cool. <laughs> So we've spent the day exploring the city and now we're gonna head to an Italian restaurant for dinner. Um, it's a small one called Little Italy, so I'll let you know what we think. I had a lasagna, which I, I never have out because I don't normally eat beef, but it was really good. Yeah, I had carbonara, which again, I don't really eat out because it's just one of those things that our mum cooks. And because it was like, um, because it was like a family owned traditional Italian restaurant, it's just so good. Proper, proper Italian food. Yeah, it was really, really nice. So definitely recommend Little Italy if you're in the area. For dessert, now that I like coffee, I tried a tiramisu and I really liked it. I just couldn't finish because it was far too big so now we're just gonna have another chilled evening i'm gonna go and have a shower watch some tv and try and get an early night because we're gonna be up early tomorrow for the day trip that we're going on good morning we have hopped on our bus trip coach tour whatever you want to call it and we have been driving up the edge of loch ness and it is gorgeous. It's so early and it's so peaceful. It's so still. And it, yeah, it's so pretty. And we're overlooking, is it Burkitt Castle? Is that how you say it? Burkitt Castle. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. We've arrived at our second stop of the day. We have come to the Commando Memorial, which is in memory of the commandos who died in the Second World War. So here is the memorial and then over here, behind all that cloud, somewhere, is Ben Nevis, which is the tallest mountain in all of Britain. So it's a shame we can't see it, but apparently it's only out for like 40 days of the whole year, so it would have been very unlikely to have seen it. Hey! It is so cold up here, I am not dressed for this. First food of the day is a brioche roll, because yeah. it was too early for breakfast before we left. Um, so I guess we're just having a snacky breakfast. On the go. <laughs> We've arrived at a really exciting stop on today's day trip. We are now in Fort William, which is where the Jacobite steam train comes from, which goes over the Glenfinnan Viaduct, which is used in the Harry Potter films. So I am super excited for this. I've always wanted to come and see this because it's obviously an iconic scene from the films. And yeah, this is just so exciting. <laughs> Stands on the 
The train ended in um, a little place called Malague, so we picked up some food here. I had a scone and a coffee, and now we're going to jump back on the bus and go on to our next stop. We've just driven past Loch Eelt on our way back towards um, Inverness, and that is actually where they filmed Dumbledore's grave in Harry Potter. Um, and now we're at a viewpoint where we can see the Glenfinnan viaducts and hopefully see the train go over it. And from this viewpoint we can also see Loch Shiel, which is the Black Lake in Harry Potter. Lock Shield, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm really glad it's um, bright and dark so we can see the tops of the hills as well as the lock. And here is the Glenfin and Viaduct. So we're currently in Fort Augustus, heading back to Inverness. So this is a town on Loch Ness and we've just walked down the Caledonian Canal to Loch Ness and sat on the entrance which has been really nice. And then back at the top um, where the road crosses over the canal you can see all the docks. So that's really cool. We're now at our last stop of the day. We did just stop at um, a little waterfall called the Falls of Foyer, but now we're um, on the edge of Loch Ness and it's gorgeous. It's so peaceful because the water's really still and yeah, it's really tranquil. some dinner and we watched some Netflix while we ate because we were back so late so we just did both at the same time um otherwise we wouldn't really have had any like relaxing time this evening I've started packing because tomorrow we are heading to Edinburgh so we have to leave the Airbnb by 10 a.m so I didn't want to have to get up at six o'clock again so I've made a start on that if you do come up to the Highlands definitely pack for all weathers we were out in the Highlands for literally one day and we've had rain really cloudy we've had sun like we've literally had everything except snow really um so like pack for everything uh bring a raincoat sun cream everything um and you'll be set so i'm gonna end this video here and tomorrow we will get up finish packing and make our way to edinburgh where i will pick our camera back up and start my next video if you have enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up leave a comment down below subscribe for more and watch out for the Edinburgh video which will be out next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!